I left my beloved Rome on the day of Pentecost. I didn't have enough money to get back home. The Cardinal gave me the extra funds with generosity and heart. After living for six wonderful years in freedom, I was about to return to what seemed like a foreign land. And what I would face there, I did not know. Oh Lord, be my strength and my shield. to St. Boniface Church, where every seat was taken. 500 colored people and 1,000 whites. Young, old, priests, sisters, lay people. 1,000 whites and 500 colored people were present. Here he was, at the very place which had thrown him out of school as a young boy. And now, he was feeding the body and blood to the people. I was just crying for joy. The bishop greeted him graciously. He announced that Father Tolton would be the pastor at the Negro Church of St. Joseph at Quincy. It was like Jesus coming to Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. That they may be one as we are one. I in them and you in me. My brothers and sisters, this is the prayer of Jesus for all of us here today. He is inviting us into the love of the Trinity itself. What a mystery that our little town of Quincy is called to become one as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one. Not the same though. The Father, the Son, and the Spirit remain truly unique, each a distinct person, yet they are one. How do we achieve this with all of our differences? Do we abandon our individual qualities, our backgrounds, our desires, our talents? Or do we wait for the elimination of all of our sins to achieve this, this perfection of love? No, you and I, we are flawed human beings and we will never escape our human weaknesses. But what we must do, dear friends, is surrender to the mercy of God. It is only through his power that we will ever overcome the many ways that we have hurt each other. It is his love that must transform Quincy. Do you desire this? Do you long for his peace? Do you want to know deep in your heart that the Father loves you even as he loves his Son? Then forgive your persecutors. Pray for those that mistreat you. You come in humility to the altar and he will have mercy on your soul and he will fill you with his joy and peace. <laughs>